Hello everybody, this is Four Soul of World's Edge Gaming. It's good to see you all. This is my very first vlog, so bear with me. Last few days I have been hauling and moving things from this apartment to my new one where Trin and I are going to be staying. Sucked a lot. The guns are getting bigger, so I guess that helps. As a gamer, I don't really get a lot of exercise. I tend to be sitting here. My, my wrists and fingers definitely do, but not the rest of me, which Trin and I are actually on a plan. We're going to be working out. We've got our membership cards to the local gym, and that's hopefully going to pick off pretty soon here. I have a pet parrotlet. Her name is Zoe. She's tiny. I actually have her here with me. I'd like to introduce you guys to Zoe. She's kind of sleeping right now, so we'll see if we can wake her up without disturbing her too much. You know, she's a bundle of noise until you actually want to play with her. Then now she's all, oh, I need soft dip. Good girl, Zoe. All right, everybody. Meet Zoe. She is our other little pet, the start to our eventual zoo. She is a parrotlet, three years of age. She was actually an old breeder. So she's had many a babies, and they've gone to many a loving families. I have to send her home when I go home for Mother's Day here because my mama loves her dearly and thank goodness because uh, the apartment we're in doesn't we get noise complaints so but she's a sweetheart I know she's gonna be shifting around my shoulder a lot you'll see that I'll cut the video and then she'll be over here and then she'll be over here I expect her to fall asleep but I'm kinda of making noise so things will happen don't be confused be confused a little bit about me I started gaming when I was I want to say three years old, I got my very first Super Nintendo. So excited. Actually, I wasn't. I had no idea what it was. My grandma gives me it. I'm just looking at this gray box going, what do we do with it? Is it like a toaster? I mean, you had the slot, you put the thing in there, and you just, what is this? Okay. So we plug it in, which back then you had a mangle of cords and this awkward thing you had to plug into the cable. and Oh, it was absolutely ridiculous. But Definitely not a learning curve for a small child like myself. Uh, finally figured it out though. Got it hooked up. We played some Mario Brothers. I believe Super Mario World was the very first game we ever had. And we got it bundled with Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, past that, my second game was Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it was my very first Rareware game, which Rareware is my favorite game company ever. They had Donkey Kong Country... Banjo-Kazooie, GoldenEye, just Jet Force Gemini. Oh, love that game. So good. I did have some weird game system before. I don't know really what it was. It had Pong and Pong Hockey on it and stuff. And that was pretty epic. My sister and I played that when we were like two years old. Um, but then I got my Super Nintendo, and then I moved on to uh, Nintendo 64. I actually, that was a big moment in my life right there, was do I go Nintendo 64 or do I go PlayStation? There were games I wanted on both sides of the bridge, and I decided to stick with my man, Nintendo, and carry it through, and it worked out great. Loved the games, probably because Rareware carried me through there. And from there, ended up getting a Wii, uh, PlayStation 2, and then I got my Xbox 360 so I could play Halo. And from Halo, I evolved into a COD player. I loved Call of Duty for Modern Warfare, the original. Great game. Great. World at War, loved it as well. Um, definitely, I'm a sniper. Love sniping. World at War was such a pain in the butt because it, a transition from Modern Warfare, and all of a sudden you're sitting there, and I have to shoot and then duck and then reload, and it takes me about three seconds to reload. This is bull crap and you're sitting there and I hate it and I was so pissed for the longest time and I threw the game in the corner and I was like no I'm not touching you I can't I can't even bear with this my roommate got it we had this amazing setup of two monitors right next to each other with our Xboxes hooked up and we'd sync in and play didn't have lag we had really good internet speeds and we'd just play with each other the entire time and just waste the enemy team and I mean although they did have tanks in that game it was so broken my roommate, he gets this epic kill streak. I'm like, use the tank, it's cheating. He's like, no, it's not. It's skill. I'm like, okay, next match. I get a kill streak somewhere like 27, I think. I'm just like, there, showed you. Tanks are cheating. 
that kind of carried me forward into other first person shooters. I've continued with Call of Duty. I got into Battlefield 2 Bad Company. I really like the Bad Company series. Uh, the sniping, just the way the bullets drop, everything. Uh, the, the team mechanics and having the class systems, great, great. I'm definitely a guy, I love my first person shooters. Uh, recently I've been getting into Blacklight Retribution because it's free to play PC game. Really fun. Got a, it has a micro economy, so you can put real money into it, but you don't have to to get everything out of the game. Uh, I also want to cover in the future other other games, other FPSs. I've heard of tons of different ones, just like Blacklight, that are free to play on PC. So I'm going to be exploring that in the future, hopefully for you guys. Another form of games I really like are action adventures. I love games such as God of War, Prince of Persia. The Legend of Zelda or Banjo Kazooie, things where you're running around and it's a mixture of plat platforming, action, fighting, something like that. Uh, games I do not like, fighting games, uh, the side to side, like I would say Mortal Kombat would be an exception. Also, huge Killer Instinct guy. I think when Killer Instinct died is when my love for fighting games finally kind of went down the toilet. I'm really not a sports guy. I'm actually one of those people who kind of advocates, why the hell are you playing sports on a video game system? Go outside and swing a bat or something. I guess to play baseball, you need a ton of people. And if you don't have a ton of people, then you can play baseball from the fun of your home, sitting in a chair. But I don't know. I just, I don't watch sports. I don't play sports, nah, video games is my sport. Although we have gotten a connect, I got one for my birthday, and it's pretty sweet. I have to admit, it's pretty sweet. Uh, definitely gets me a workout. I don't even need to leave the house to get a workout now. It's pretty insane. We just got Dance Central 2. And I haven't played it, Trin's done it, and she's broken a sweat. I did do the demo, and that was pretty fun, so we decided just to splurge and go for it. I know we had played Connect Adventures, and that was really fun. Love Connect Adventures. Um, especially the, uh, the underwater thing where you're sitting there and you're covering up the things. Uh, I'm really into the whole motion control thing, but uh, I think Connect's got it right, whereas we and PlayStation 3 are going with the whole stick thing. I don't... What is this? Why am I holding these pom poms here? I, this I feel ridiculous. I feel like I've got maracas. I I don't feel like I'm mariachi, so I don't feel I should be holding maracas at all times. I have never played WoW. Uh, the first one, like WoW, I played is Star Wars: The Old Republic, which actually to get into this, I know a lot of people have a lot of distaste for Star Wars: The Old Republic, and I too have had it and have been on rocky ground with it for the past few months ever since it came out. I was super excited. It's Star Wars. Yes, I love Star Wars. Who doesn't love Star Wars except for all the people who love Star Trek, which I also love Star Trek, so don't be hating. I primarily play Empire side. I've got an Inquisitor and a Bounty Hunter. PvP, I, I've tried it. It's crap. Uh, it's nothing's even. You always feel like whoever's a higher level you or been playing a, a bit longer is going to stomp your face in. Have, I've had I've gone against people who are well geared or just a few levels above me, and we had to have three dudes just to take the jackass down. And what lo and behold, what happens when you go in as an Empire player to the PvP match? You look at the roster for the enemy for the opposing team. What's that? Three consulars and five troopers. Yeah, we're screwed. As you look on the Empire side, we've got oh look a Marauder, a Bounty Hunter, a couple Inquisitors. Hey, another Marauder an agent, who the hell plays the agent, and what I've learned over the past several months after playing Star Wars, it is not a hardcore game. It is for casual gamers. And I know all you hardcore game gamers are raging out there, actually, you're probably not, you've already raged on this, got over it, moved on, and good for you. There's games like Guild Wars 2 that are coming out that are going to appeal to a lot of people, it's going to be very competitive, great PvP, and I, mean, I, I ran through it on the beta. Guild Wars 2 was amazing. Loved the PvP. World vs. World vs. World is going to be super fun if, the, if they fix the lag issues. Um, and then the random event system and the storyline also going to be epic. But anyway, to get to the major point of this, Star Wars is a casual game and you're, you're there to enjoy it for the storyline. This is a Bioware game. Enjoy it for the reasons that everybody loves Bioware, 
and that's story development. I've played with hardcore gamers and we sit there and we space through all the conversations and then by the time you're done you're just, oh, I guess I got, I wanted to get to the action and the action sucked and I was disappointed and I just keep leveling and I just keep getting more and more disappointed but I get my hopes up and then I disappoint myself. After I took a step back, I played with some guys who were more casual like myself, and we just sat there and, you know, I had to hold myself back from pressing that space bar and wanted to skip through the conversation. And we just sat and we watched and we listened to the conversation, what was going on. You let the story sink into you. And it's enjoyable. This is Bioware. Focus on what you have. Enjoy what you have. When you go to Buffalo Wild Wings and you order wings, you want to sit there and savor them. You don't pound your food down just to get the hell out. It's good quality food. So when you're playing this game, sit and enjoy it. That's what Bioware is. They've cooked up a great meal for you to just sit and enjoy. You can pound it down. And there's no dessert. I'm sorry to say, but there's no dessert at the end. So enjoy the amazing meal that they prepared. And that's my view on Star Wars. I also play LOL quite a bit. I'm a level 30 right now. I don't, haven't played a lot of PvP, kind of getting into that with the rest of the guys. I just, again, I'm more of a casual gamer. I love exploring games. I love trying new games. There's definitely the games where I find myself really wanting to beat the crap out of something and beat it on the hardest setting, but I'm more, I'm less of a player who wants to beat something on the hard setting, and I'm more of a person who wants to complete everything. I want to find all the little doodads. I want to find the secrets. I want to get every chest in the game. I want to get all the achievements. Now, if that means I have to beat it on the highest difficulty, I'll do it. If it means I don't, I don't really care. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Forsol of World's Edge Gaming. Please, please subscribe to our channel. It's great. We're going to have great stuff coming up for you guys. We're going to be covering Guild Wars 2 a lot more in depth once the more betas come out and as the game progresses and as it refines itself and comes out. We're also doing a midnight to daybreak coverage of Diablo 3 when that comes out. Uh, also expect from me in the future I'm going to be doing a let's play of the Fear Trilogy. Never played them before, always wanted to, so you guys can watch me crap my pants as I discover the awe that is the Fear series. Also if you guys know of any good scary games I know Trinity, we're, we're looking to kind of scare the crap out of her and see what we can do. And she said if we can find a good game, a good scary game that's not a first person shooter, because she doesn't like first person shooters, then she will do it. So feel free to add into the comments section any scary games you can think of that aren't first person shooters. And we'll get Trinity on top of that. Uh, so this has been Forsol of World's Edge Gaming. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Please subscribe to us and Dara McTire. And thanks so much. We love you. Bye.